the distinct change in color. You got dirty water, somewhat clean water. So that'd be a low pressure zone there. Yeah, man. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Busted Knuckles Prospecting. In today's video, we are going to do a bit of prospecting on this creek, and we're going to find a few little specks of gold. That's basically how my days have been going lately. It would be nice to find at least half an ounce like the boys did in the previous video, but that is very, very uncommon to find pockets like that. They are very, very few and far between. So what we're going to do today is we're going to continue on looking for a potential mineral claim to basically claim up. Now I have been here, I've done one test pan already and I have got one nice rough piece of gold. So what I'm going to do is cut back to when we first got here. I'll show you the first samples and where we got those samples from. We got lots of water worn gravels in the wall of this gully. And we also have a heck of a lot of black sand mixed in amongst it. We got big piles of gravels built up on the inside bends. We got more gravels in the wall there, which looks juicy. And if we go back up to where my equipment is, got more gravels in there, nice gravels. But you can see the gobs of black sand build up all through there. Let's um, see what's going on here, eh? Shit. Oh, this is clayish material. This is going to take me ages to pan through. But if we find one speck, then we'll know there might be potential here. There is a heck of a lot of black sand in that. A heck of a lot. Wonder if we got any gold in it is the question. Where are we? Can you see it? Just there. And it looks like a very, very rough coarse piece too. So who knows, there could be something shedding out right in this vicinity. But what we're going to do is maybe do one or two more test pans from just around this area. So we got our first speck of gold from just in here. So I am going to continue clearing this back. This is very clayish, gravelly material. We'll see how well we can clean this out. I do not expect to get mad tons of gold out of this, but I want to punch down a little bit and see what's going on further down. Break this clay up. Okay. 
Okay. Next pan down, and we've got two specks there. One's basically sitting on the other, and we got one nano microscopical little speck just there. I think that confirms it. There is gold in this tributary. It is not the best gold and it's not the worst gold. It is far better than the first claim we checked out and it has a bit more potential than the second claim I checked out. You guys probably haven't seen that second claim as of yet. So what we're going to do is cut back to yesterday. I'll show you what we got up to and then we'll come back to today and finish off. We have parked the car and I've decided to leave the car and walk along this track. Okay, There's some exposed bedrock just up there. The creek runs down the bottom there in amongst the thick of the blackberries. And you can see the blackberries just continue on for miles. Because all that creek is just so overgrown with blackberries, it's virtually impossible for me to even uh, trek my way down to the water's edge. Here's a perfect example of the gravels I'm looking for. See how they're water worn and they're just along the track here. Before I pack up and head home I am going to get my pan. I'm going to scoop up some samples from just around where I'm seeing all these uh, river gravels. Got some bedrock just there. So this might be a likely spot to take a test pan. We're gonna take a bit. 90% of this is just red clay. Seriously don't think there is a single speck in this, this pan, but I'm just curious to know why those river gravels are up there. Have we got anything? All right, I will probably pack up and I will see you tomorrow. But I've definitely muddied up the water. You can see where the, the silty material's pulling up. So that'd be a low pressure zone there. We'll let this clear out a smidge. Once it clears out, you'll see where all these uh, darker patches are pulling up they would be where your low pressure zones are in the creek. As you can see, where I was panning out, the water's kinda, the dirtier water's hanging out in that pool and the cleaner water's washing down. Yeah, you know I mean? And then you can see the distinct change in color. You got dirty water, somewhat clean water, then it comes back down Another low pressure zone where the dirty water is. Then you got another low pressure zone that continues around here, which would make your gravel bar and so on and so forth. And that is a little trick to help you read a creek and figure out where those low pressure zones could be. Now, it's not 100% guaranteed you're gonna find gold in those spots, but it is definitely going to increase your odds. So. Let's um, get back to grabbing some more material. We'll do another test pan. That was just out of the first two scoops along this gravel layer here. 
Now that I know there is actually some half respectable little specks of gold in this tributary, I will come back at another date and do a much thorough prospect up and down this entire tributary, looking for good deposits and all that fun stuff. We will also be looking for rock samples and all that to send off for fire assay tests. All right, guys, that's all we got for you today. Go down, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. And I'll see you in the next video.